Okay, hey everybody. Um, I've decided what I'm gonna give away as a prize for my 60th subscriber when it happens. I'm at 59 now. So, uh, yeah, I've been racking my brain trying to figure out what I could give away and seeing how I like primitive start fire starting um i decided to give away a fire kit um that's a pretty extensive one uh, i got a altoids tin that has a flint and steel fire kit in it it comes with about a dozen pieces of char cloth already ready to use Made out of denim, so they're pretty st sturdy. Uh, got a good piece of chert here, which is an alternative to flint. Got a cotton wet uh, lamp wick that has chart on one end. It's char cloth, but it's a lamp wick. Yeah, multiple, multiple uses. Um, got a U shape. You hold it like this strike down or you hold it in your other hand up so the U is up hold the shirt and strike down like that like this you hold the shirt with the char cloth on it and you just strike it like that or you can hold on to it like this and throw sparks down. But I got a container of uh, cotton rounds and cotton plugs that are infused with a, a wax and then some type of accelerant. All you do with either one is break it open a little bit. There we go, break it open a little bit, expose all the cotton fibers, and it'll take a spark. That Those are guaranteed fires. They'll uh, be able to dry out marginal tinder. If it's still damp, that stuff will burn for a while and dry it out and you'll have a fire pretty quick. This is a miniature fire kit from Old Growth Artisans. It's He's changed his name now and he no longer makes these. Uh, it comes with, if I can get it out. There we go. Comes with a miniature fire steel. Pharisee on rod and uh, one of my personal scrapers made by it's got his stamp on it two old growth artisans this one was made specifically for me but I'm going to give it away uh This comes with two different types of fire starters. It's got fear or tinder torch, which is just, I believe, cedar infused with wax. And then the darker brown stuff is fierce fire, which is infused with wax and some type of accelerant, I think. Well, I'm pretty sure it is anyway. But yeah, that's a personal mini fire kit that I'm gonna, and it comes, I'm gonna add in some tinder torch and fierce fire, uh, enough to refill this about three times. Comes with a cotton ball in the, in the lid. So I'll put this to get it back together in a second. Uh, got a 
brand new six inch ferro rod six inch by half inch this will pretty much last you your lifetime or your kids lifetime uh, got a magnifying glass magnifying lens uh, so you can harness the sun and concentrate that and get a fire going with that uh, I start over here got a inline roller blade wheel that is used for your bow drill fire this is for your bearing block that goes on top of the spindle and since how this bear ball bearing there will be no friction at the top of your spindle which is a lot of reasons why bow drills don't work because there's too much friction at the top of the spindle and not enough at the bottom so this elim eliminates that got your steel wool 9 volt battery uh, any kind of battery really with small pieces of wire a spark this stuff is a flash tender so it'll go up really really fast but it'll get a uh, a minute um, uh, an immediate fire where you can build onto it and get a bigger fire got some jute twine here which is all you do is expose the fibers on this and it will catch a spark. Um, or you can use it just as broke. It's about three feet. Got some cotton fire tenders plugs. These are just cotton. All you do is open them up just like the like these. You expose the small cotton fibers and it'll take a spark. Got wet fire. These are just cubes. And they're, I'm not really sure what they got in them, but they last a while and they burn really, really hot. Um, got a magnesium bar with a fair sam rod on it and a scraper. Scraper is also, it's got teeth on it. It's a, break, it's a, a hacksaw blade. But yeah, it's got the teeth still on one side, so you can use it as a, small saw but uh it's used for striking the ferrocium rod but uh got a container of magnesium shavings so instead of using your blade to scrape off small pieces which is what you want to do you want to scrape this in small pieces into a, a pile and then use your fair sham rod to throw sparks into the pile of magnesium and that will it burns fast but it burns extremely hot so it will get marginal tender you know a little wet leaves or whatever got some dampness to them that will dry it out and get it on fire quick got a nice piece of fat wood natural fat wood completely infused with resin on both ends it's a little wet because it was outside but i'll let it dry before i ship it out it won't take long now that it's inside uh and all this stuff comes in uh waxed canvas bag bright orange so you know it's a fire kit uh it was made by old growth artisans he's no longer that company no longer just as he renamed it but uh yeah he doesn't do bags anymore all he does is leather work pretty much which his stuff is top notch leather work for sure but uh yeah, I decided to give this away for my 60th subscriber. I've been thinking about it since 50, but uh, I climbed to almost 60 faster than I thought. So, uh, yeah, this video is about 10 minutes long now, so I'm going to cut it off here. 
when I hit 60, I'll figure out how to do a random draw thing. And if it's a actual person, I will ship it out to them the next day or within a couple days. Just, I'll send them an email, send them my email address. They'll email, you got whoever it is, will email me their address and I'll ship it off to them. Oh, and this is a collapsible tube. You guys seen me use it before to concentrate oxygen into the coals to get the fire to burn a little hotter. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good kit. It'll get a fire going multiple multiple ways uh matter of fact i'm gonna throw this in too because i can always make me another one these are invaluable this is my go-to works almost every time and i put gorilla tape on it because if you shred up the gorilla tape real small and get the fire the small fibers it will catch a spark and burn for a long long time so yeah i'm gonna throw that in for you too there's probably about i don't know 10 feet 8 to 10 feet of duct tape on there so you can use that for you know repairs or fire starting whatever but yeah almost 12 minutes now so That'll be it. I'll talk at you guys later. Good luck to the winner. Or good luck to everybody. Alright, later.